Good morning, you beautiful Call of Duty people. How are you doing today? Good? Bad? Well, whether or not, let's play some Call of Duty. Today, I want to share with you guys a little something I'm trying to do more of lately in Call of Duty, and that is getting rid of my crutches, getting rid of the things that I rely on to do well. Now, those usually come in the form of perks. Now, the perks that I find to be crutches are Amplify, Focus, and to some extent, Quick Draw and Stalker. In this gameplay, you're going to see me use Focus, Quick Draw, and Stalker, but I will not be using Amplify, and that is probably the first time ever since Ghost was released I'm not using Amplify, which blows my mind. That's insane to me. Um, let's talk about why these things are... Uh, necessary and crutches for some people. Well, Focus, Quick Draw, and Stalker all help you with that 50-50 gunfight. It helps you get on target a little bit faster and it helps you not flinch as much as the other person in theory, of course. And um, that can be, it's great, it's good perks, but a lot of people rely on that in their success and I think I've relied on that as well for my success like I said before and I don't want that I think I would be a better player if I didn't rely on that than when I did by which I mean I I want to be able to win my gunfights before they even happen that is a true sign of a good Call of Duty player I remember back in Black Ops 1 days and uh, Modern Warfare 2 and you know, COD 4, uh, all the Call of Duty commentators were talking about how to get better and the main thing was win your gunfights before they happen. Set up situations to where you, there's no doubt you can not lose that gunfight, if that makes sense. Now, Quick Draw is great for those occasional times where you can't do that. Stalker, again, great for those times when you have to react quickly. And focus is good for all gunfights you're being shot at. But if you're not being shot at, focus is not really necessary. So that's the kind of gunfights I want to get into. If focus isn't necessary, then I'm doing something right for once. And uh, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get rid of those perks. And Amplify is another monster for me. Um, Amplify, what I think I like about Amplify is the fact I can hear enemy footsteps better, but what I really think it is, is that I cannot hear my friendly footsteps, so I know that any footsteps I hear are enemy footsteps, and I think that's the crutch, because without Amplify in this gameplay, I could hear people relatively, uh, not the same, but enough to where I could react in time you know just the sound of their regular footsteps and the regular sound the beautiful sound which is infinity ward sound i love it so much is enough to sound for people to hear people coming and react to them before but like you just saw there my teammate kind of just jumped down and i heard him and i thought he was an enemy he was just as loud as an enemy and that is what i don't like about it i can hear my my teammates from a mile away but that's kind of cool. That's kind of all right because it rely it makes me rely more on my mini map, which I think is a better quality than relying on the sound. Um, when I hear something, someone, and if I look at the mini map and my fr my teammate is there, it's like all right, my teammate is there. If I look and my teammate's not there, it's obviously an enemy. And right now, that sounds like it takes up a lot of time just to look at the mini map and go back and forth, but. If I'm constantly looking at the minimap, like I probably should, like we all should, like a good Call of Duty player does, we can get a feel for where our teammates are and recognize in an instant, that's my teammate, I don't need to worry about that. And so that's kind of where I'm at. Um, as far as Quick Draw and Stalker, I'm pretty good about not having to use them. Uh, except for the light machine guns, those are just so grandma slow. <laughs> um, with Assault Rifles, I don't need Quick Draw, I don't need Stalker. Um, focus, half and half. Some machine guns I don't need it anymore. Some machine guns I usually get close enough to where the, I don't, uh, the flinch isn't bothering me. So that's where I am at personally with all of this, um, you know, crutch perks and whatnot. And I'm asking you guys, where are you? What perks do you rely on? Is it sleight of hand? Is it scavenger? Is it ping? 
Um, that's another thing. Not relying on these perks lets you use so many more perks than we could ever imagine. It's so fun to use ICU and ping and wiretap and dead eye. You know, they become so much more viable and the classes become so much more inclusive, expansive, and oh, it makes me all excited. And, and I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this game. And uh, write down in the comment section below, like I said, what are your crutch perks? How do you go about using them? And until the next absolutely beautiful Call of Duty morning, I will catch up with you guys later. And as always, have a great day.